Hello and welcome to Real Talk, live from the University of Salford's Media City UK campus, where we'll be taking a sip from the hot gossip of this week's entertainment news. Coming up, we'll be taking a look at all things Casa and more in this year's Winter Love Island, and we ask the questions that need to be answered. But first, let's meet our panel. Hi, I'm Lucy from Newcastle. Hi, I'm Renai from Wolverhampton. I'm Phoebe from Nottingham. And I'm Rachel from Birmingham. Let's dig right into the papers. It's time for Hot Pages. So in today's Hot Pages, I looked at OK Magazine, which featured Kim Kardashian asking the question whether celebrities should be ashamed of being rich. So guys, what do you think of this? Should they be shamed? It's a hard one, isn't it? Because we've used Kim as an example and she's got a massive empire and there's a lot of people wondering why she was famous, etc. However, you can't deny she's a businesswoman and shouldn't we see her wealth and maybe aspire to be like her in a business savvy sense mm -hmm. so maybe it could be a positive in that aspect i think we need to ask the question though is like how are they getting that money yeah, they are cool. promoting in some cases skinny tea yeah. skinny pills and it's things like that that put that negative light mm -hmm. on their wealth yeah, they want to be pro promoting something to their younger audiences yeah. that you know, it's worthy of being promoting, yeah. and it, it's sad that when it is something like that. Yeah, definitely. I think as celebrities, there comes a time they're making all this money. Like money is almost the priority for them, but they need to prioritize different things. And is selling all these diet pills and whatnot to a younger audience essentially is that what they want for themselves as a brand? Is that how they want to be viewed by yeah. everyone? Or I think they need to prioritize it because they're making money. They're, they're business women. They've all got businesses. And I think sometimes there comes a point where they have to say no to certain things. Mm -hmm. But it, it depends how much money are these brands giving these That's influencers. That's what you think. And how much should you be flaunting it, though, yes. really? Putting yeah. it in everyone's faces? Because, yeah. I mean, this is Kim Kardashian's the person. She, I mean, she showed us her whole refrigerator. Yeah. And that refrigerator <laughs> is its own house, yeah. isn't it? Um, it's a big deal I think yeah. and it influences a lot of young people so um, that's something that needs to be considered but let's move on to the next magazine yeah so I was looking at new magazine and Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston <laughs> obviously big couple back in the day and they've been seen getting rather close on the red carpet mm. so girls do you think it's okay to be friends with your ex Oh, it depends. What do you classify as an ex? Because we're in a dating culture where we're speaking to people, we're going mm. on dates. So every single one of those people, do you want to cut them off after you finish? It just depends, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it just depends how badly it ended. In that instance, if I was Jen, no way, because, you know, the debacle that caused, yeah. Yeah. I'd, I'd kind of have to take a step yeah. back. I think with exes as well, it, it almost depends how strong the connection was. I mean, like, I know I've got exes, I don't talk to them, like, we've just blocked each other because that's how it ended. Like, sometimes you don't need those people in your life, whereas there's exes where, well, we won't text, but if it's their birthday, it's like, oh, happy birthday, or <laughs> how is everything? Because you can have friendships with those people. Yeah. I think, I do genuinely think it depends how it ended. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think yeah. sometimes as well, with time, you get past it, you're over it. Yeah. Yeah. And if you're willing to see a friendship, it's like light yeah. at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, that's really. like 20 yeah. odd years, yeah. Jen and Brad yeah. split up. I mean, they're both successful. I think they're all right. And I think probably people. this one in particular, Brad and Jen, it's getting their names back in the papers. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it is nice to see that two big people like that are, are making a comeback. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she looks so good. Still. She looks she so good. Look as always, though. Yeah. yeah, she doesn't look her age. Isn't she 50? She's so yeah, yeah, she's really great. good. But anyway, let's move on to the next magazine, shall we? OK, so um, I focused on Closer. Now, Closer talked about a trans model who has made over £100,000 with like explicit photos and she sells it on a site mm. called OnlyFans which is a site where you subscribe to people and they sell their content. Now it got us thinking is that OnlyFans culture correct and what do you girls think about it? 
I don't think it's extremely right. Um, Sell it's hard, it is isn't like it? selling your body on the internet, really, though, isn't it? Hundred percent. But the sex industry has always been around, and mm. isn't this just it in its newest form? Mm -hmm. I think there's different uh, levels to it, and I think it depends how you look at it. I mean, in this case, obviously, I can't speak for all of them, but most of the girls are well, they should be over 18 and it's up to them. Like they've made the decision to do that. Mm. Um, I think obviously if it was like, or if they were underage or something, 100% don't agree with that. But if you're over 18 and it's your decision to post whatever you want online or accept money from people, I don't really see anything wrong with it. Like, yeah. yeah, it's a topic that has so many opinions and people have even tweeted about it, about their concerns that these images seem to be a lot, like bombarding you as soon as you scroll on Twitter, etc. Mm -hmm. But um, is this just something if they want to do it, we should let them or do you think? Yeah, I think with that though, maybe people are thinking it's a quick way to get money. Yeah. Like if you feel you're confident enough to do that, then yeah, yeah. fair enough. But there is other ways of getting money and it doesn't have to involve putting yourself on the internet yeah. which is it's going to stay on there forever people can screenshot they can send it around and if you're willing to take that risk then yeah go for it but yeah. you, you've got to be careful and just really understand the consequences yeah. I think because the internet is for life do you know what I mean yeah. them images are going to be out there but if that's what you want to do I don't think you should stop anyone. Mm. Mm. There are other ways of making money though. I mean, if some people use Love Island as a uh, route to <laughs> yeah. making a bit of money, don't they? <laughs> what was your magazine well, saying? Speaking of Love Island, I've been looking at Heat magazine and Heat magazine had an article about Caroline Flack, um, which caused, is, Caroline Flack's been in the media quite a lot over the past month or two. Um, recently, people have been speculating Caroline Flack coming back to Love Island to host. Um, obviously, Laura Whitmore is the host now. So, what do you girls think about Caroline coming back? I mean, I feel like we need to give Laura a chance. I'm seeing all these yeah. tweets and articles like, oh, she's not doing a good job. We've seen her three times. We like Laura, though. I like yeah. Laura. Yeah. I think she's, her fashion sense is unreal. I like yeah. her banter. Yeah. I'm, I'm a big fan. Yeah. She's, she's okay. But one thing I have to say, <laughs> she sometimes presents as though it's the news. Yeah. It's a little yeah. bit too hard. But as like you said, we've seen her like three times. And if you don't watch After Sun, then you've I hardly mean, yeah. seen her at all. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think bringing it back to the whole Caroline thing, I think we just associated Caroline Flack with Love Island. Yeah, and I think that's probably why people are missing it yeah. and thinking, oh, it kind of, we are, yeah. we are losing out a little yeah. bit. But at the same time, like, you can't really come back to it no. after being if after having your reputation tarnished in yeah. in such a way yeah. when you're on the telly every day like it i think the, the reason why the viewership um was going down we're speaking about this how when she's a million there's it's a year it's yeah. gone down from a million so the first episode of um summer lover love island was like 5.9 million and yeah. now it's 4.8 on the first one but is that just because we're having it in winter yeah uh, i mean <coughs> i'm there in my gym jams i don't want to see people in bikinis like living it up <laughs> in south <laughs> africa you want to be sat like with your back doors yeah. open <laughs> cocktail yeah I mean, and <laughs> is it going to be are you going to watch it in summer? Because we'll have it twice in one year. I yeah, I think so. Have it lost the hype though? Yeah, because yeah definitely. Because we used to wait those 10 months. We used to be geared up, ready for, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ready for Summer Love Island, like exactly. you say. I don't want to be seeing people in their bikinis at this time of year yeah. when I've got my winter body. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, I think with Caroline Flack though, I think after all the allegations, I think it'd be wrong on ITV's behalf to even take her back and advocate after what has been what she's supposedly done. I think supposedly. it'd just be yeah. a bit. I think keep on Laura for now. There's banter between her and Ian. Obviously, they're going out. Mm -hmm. And it's a bit of fun. Like when he's, <laughs> he's introducing her, come in. It's just it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I think we should talk Love Island now. Oh. Yeah, so speaking of Love Island, let's move on to some trending topics of the week. Laura Whitmore, obviously the new Love Island uh, host. Mm -hmm. Casa Amor is happening as we speak. Mm. So what are we thinking about this year's Winter Love Island? This part of Love Island is the best part. Yeah. It's yeah. the part where all the drama begins because yeah. 
I everyone's I, tested. Yeah, it's been a bit dry so far. <laughs> yeah. This is the juicy mm -hmm. part. Yeah. And I think from the looks of the people that they've got in, it is going to steer the part. And mm -hmm. I'm excited. Oh, I am. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Heads will turn I don't and girls so. will cry. Yeah, I mean, Shauna was crying when she found out they only left the villa. Yeah. Yeah. So what is it going to be like if, um, do we think Callum's head is going to turn? Oh, yeah. I personally we do. Yeah, yeah, they were saying that online as well. There were tweets coming in about yeah. um, Callum and Shauna's relationships relationship i think i'd be offended though like like she was that mm. he didn't leave her yeah. anything yeah I they mean, all got you know demi got a little hat isn't that from just Naz. what callum's personality because i can imagine him being a bit like that he's yeah, just a lad just, isn't I, he I they are lacking that spark and everyone's yeah. like oh they've yeah. been together since day one but is that because he hasn't had anyone yeah. to turn his head and mm. is this Molly, spoilers exactly. if you've not watched it, going to turn his head. No. I do think he does flirt with everyone, but yeah, Sean yeah. does. I do. And I feel like the fact you didn't leave or anything, yeah, he might be a lad, it might be his personality, but if you truly had those feelings for someone, surely you'd think to like, oh, let me just leave a like, you know the pair of boxes, I don't know. Like, <laughs> oh, oh, that's that's something. But I'm sure the boys would have discussed it. Like, oh, do you know yeah. what we're leaving they did. this? The two boys on either side of their bed left. Yeah. 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 So there's, there's not really any excuse. He was just buzzing. I think he mm. was just so excited yeah. he just forgot. Yeah. A happy dog. Who else are yeah. we liking or not liking? Oh, I like Luke too. Yeah. I'm oh, fancy. <laughs> He's just a little bit too young, a bit childish. I think he seems cheeky. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheeky gosh, he does that so many times. That he's word. a bit cheeky. I mean, yeah. <laughs> some of the things he's done, like, I remember the night he first came in, and I think Mike said, like, to, to Luke M or something, like, oh, oh, I like you. And Luke T was like, what about me? Yeah. And it was the most awkward <laughs> little thing that went off, and it was like, so I think he has his awkward moments, but I'm glad he went for Shanice instead of. Rebecca. Make, yeah. make sure you pronounce that correctly. Shawnee. Oh, no. It's Shawnee. And, <laughs> and I do think that, like, she's at the first, I wasn't like, I didn't not like her. But now I have become a fan Growing of hers. Up. She's Growing really up. grown on me. Maybe that is yeah. a relationship with Luke. Oh, I'm not right, just, you know. right, just looking at me like she's not I sure. I don't like Shanice. I think she's a bit too much. Oh, and she can be. And I think the way. Yeah. The way she goes about things, like yeah. this. Remember when uh, Rebecca was like, "Yeah, we spooned after like you guys kissed," and then she went. <laughs> they went right. over, and he was like, "No, we, I like give you a hug," and she was like, "Yeah, I yeah. said that." <laughs> and it was like, "No, you didn't." And yeah. it's just, I think she's come in. She knows that she's stirring the pot, yeah. and I think because she's not got anyone, she's stirring it even more, yeah. ready to yeah. cause a bit yeah. of yeah. havoc. And I mean, the avocado on toast. Oh, imagine, that, imagine really your man has made oh, you I breakfast. I love avocado. And, I love oh, like, I'm not a fan. Do you but not? Imagine, oh, imagine yeah. the guy that you're coupled up with. I mean, they haven't even really gelled that much, but he's made the effort to make her breakfast, yeah. and she's mad and because it's it. the wrong breakfast. If it was me though, um, that plate, I'd just be like, and just like <laughs> just quickly get it right. down. Exactly. Like, oh, it's so nice, but I think that was such a lovely gesture. Yeah. yeah, she didn't like it. She's like, oh, I'm, I'm not a fan, but like, thank you so much. She was like, I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> she was literally screaming. <laughs> she's like, does this have something to say about him? Tell this is his everyone. breakfast choice. I was like. Oh, it's okay. just made your breakfast. Like it's, it's just a bit of toast, really. Bring Wallace yeah. back. Yeah. 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 Well, Wallace didn't have the time to shine, I think. He was no. gone too soon, yeah. wasn't he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's a shame. Who else went too soon? Connor G. Connor, Connor with a G. G. Yeah. G. Is it Connor G or Connor with it's, a G? It's, it's, like, it's, Connor with a G because it's spelled like Connug. Connor, yeah. con, like, yeah. Connor, but it said yeah. Connor, so it's Connor with a G. Yeah. He was just dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> he was a lovely boy, personality a bit dead. But <laughs> his, his personality was dead, wasn't it? It was There dead. wasn't it much was about him. It was boring. I just think, when yeah. Rebecca didn't pick him, though, I was like, and what? I know. Oh. She even spoke to Luke T at that point. I was like, she yeah. just, I think she just did it to get it, Shanice. You away. know what? Yeah, praise to Rebecca. She's coming as a new girl, like um, Arabella did last year. And, yeah. some, and she just went for what she wanted. Um, which which I have to praise her for because I think if I was in that situation I'd be a bit like Rebecca in the sense. <laughs> <a bit. laughs> I mean, the couples were only coupled up for a week and a bit or a week. Yeah. I mean, you've known that person for a week. In mm -hmm. real life, you wouldn't be calling I'm, them your man. No. I know, so, but when you Rebecca. when you're dating someone, you, you probably wouldn't see him every single day, mm -hmm. day and night. So I, I, you yeah. get more attached. Yeah, so yeah, I, I understand, like when it's like, oh, a week and two weeks. I guess it's kind of like a yeah. Do you know what I mean? That's what they say. I, don't, I feel like, in a sense as well, when they're always like, you should have told me how you're feeling, mm. that person might not even know how they're feeling. Like, yeah. if it was me, 
I'd need to process it. I wouldn't mm. want to tell everyone stuff until I know for sure I like this person. Yeah. I want to go for it. I'm not, oh, I'm thinking about going for them. And then two hours later, I'm like, no, nah, I don't fancy them. Mm. <laughs> like, it's just, I think um, people are very, let's go for a chat, let's do this. So, you should oh, me. so what do you think about Mike and Jess then? Do we think it's real? No. I think they've been asked to do it because I think that's <gasps> the you? only bit of excitement going on. Oh. I think producers have been there like, look, just do, just, just get just for the, just just for the God. I think he was acting like a death after the ammo. Oh, or my what's God. The before hole? that. What's the whole? The, the shark. shark. Oh. He's a shark, isn't he? <laughs> he was <laughs> acting quite desperate. I'm not going to lie. He was like, he yes, was. I think, um, yeah, Jess. You liked to me at the start, so do you know what? Let's go back. Mm. It's, oh, I don't know. I feel like it's a bit odd how, obviously, Leanne said she didn't like him, whatnot, but then he moved on so fast. Yes. And he was like, mm. right, Jess. And it was like, even yeah. she said herself, like, you've literally just split with, Rea yeah. with Leanne. But like, I do think she fancies him. She does. She like, does. Do you think? She does, I think she does, but her head will get turned, I reckon. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I think his will hunt. Oh, 100%. He's, he's there for the money. That mm. I think he's there for the money. Yeah. He's not serious, is yeah. he? Maybe Shauna yeah. was right all along with the whole yeah. game. I think yeah. Shauna's yeah. got him sussed. Yeah. 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 There's she more has. to Mike's character, I think. Yeah. Especially with him being investigated for his um, career in the police force and things like that. Oh, yeah, that's Bouncing. very true. I think there's more there to the story. But I think that's enough <laughs> Love Island talk. Yeah. yeah. Shall we move on to um, something else that's trending? Yeah. So, Peppa Pig, Harley Bird, um, the voice of Peppa Pig, who is 18 years old. She's stepping down after 13 years. She'll be replaced by nine-year-old Amelia B. Smith, and it is reported that Harley gets £1,000 an hour for voicing Peppa Pig, totaling <laughs> around sometimes £12,000 a week. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I've never even seen £12,000 in my bank account. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, no. girls, <laughs> oink, oink, sign me up. I'll be, I'll be whatever, I'll be George, Daddy Pig. Oh, yeah. I'll jump in muddy puddles if mm -hmm. that's how much she's getting paid. Like, that's amazing. It's a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah. It, is. it makes you wish that maybe your parents had pushed you into <laughs> yep. the voiceover industry at a young age because she's sorted for life now. What yeah. is that, like? Eight million yeah, pounds. Yeah, eight million pounds she's like accumulated since she started yeah. it. Yeah. Imagine if you well, saved all of that as well. Yeah. What would be the first thing that you'd buy? A car. <sighs> A holiday. <laughs> I, nice I think holiday. I'd go for a couple of holidays. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. See my driver to Germany. I'd definitely have to, like, you know, she's set for life housewise mm -hmm. as well. If mm -hmm. she'd had a bit of that money to help to buy Isa, I mean. Oh my gosh. Oh, don't get me started on how to buy Isa. <laughs> she's got a pound in and we're going to leave that pound there. <laughs> At least I've set one so up. Sure. <laughs> I haven't even set mine up. No, I, don't, I can't even say I have either. <laughs> <laughs> right, now out of the frying pan and into the fire, it's time for some questions. So the question that I first want to ask you girls um, relates to something that I saw last night. So an influencer named Miss R Fabulous, her best friend got her name tattooed on, on top of his eyebrow. We can see a picture right now. So the question that I want to ask you girls, would you get your best friend's name tattooed somewhere on your body? Not necessarily over the eyebrow, but anywhere. Absolutely no. You're, you're Absolutely laughing your head not. off, aren't you? I would never, like, it's just, yeah, we might be best friends, but I don't need your name on my body. Like, yeah. I'll buy you a cupcake or a necklace. <laughs> like, that is a way that I can show you my best friend. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. I just, especially a face tattoo, that's yeah. a bit yeah. much. He was declaring, like, his undying love for this girl. If they fall yeah. out, what is he doing? What is he doing? I think maybe matching tattoos yeah. or just something that you know you could say look we've both got the same one that's a sign of our friendship but when it's a name it's quite it'd be quite hard to change well i guess you could get like a cover up or something like that but when it's on his eyebrow yeah that's yeah. quite dramatic i mean uh, it looks painful to me 
I wonder if it's real. I, I think say, it's a prank. Is it, stunt? Is it maybe yeah. a stunt? Appa but apparently, um, the influencer Miss Our Fabulous said that she's tried rubbing it off with her finger. So unless it's one of those 24 hour yeah. permanent things. But it, I mean, I mean it was buzzing in the video. The ink, it was buzzing. Yeah. So it could be real. But then again, you see girls, holidays, lads, holidays, and they do come back all with matching tattoos. Yeah. And yeah. you think, was it just a drunken mistake? Yeah. But it's something like that. He knew what he was getting himself yeah. in for. He booked that and he was gay. <laughs> right. yeah. And what, would you like, um, Renee? Oh. Yeah, He's gonna do that for me. <laughs> I'll tell you tattoo follow you get that on. Right, the next question I wanna ask you guys is to do with money. So say a fiver, you found a fiver on the floor. Just you were walking the street and you found a fiver. Is that fiver yours? It's not yes. mine, but I will take it. Yeah. <laughs> now it's mine. Yeah, I'll claim it. What I... about what about if you saw the fiver full? from someone's pocket. I, I would go after them. It. I'd go after would them you? to give it back. I would think you? if Yeah, definitely. There's a five pound note on its own, you've looked around, there's no one around. Mm. Like take it or maybe yeah. give it to someone that would need it more than you. Mm -hmm. But it, he, you're not going to go r ask loads of people, is this your five? Because chances are they're going to go, yeah, even if it isn't. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I think if it's anything more than say five pound, 10 pound, then yeah, maybe ask around or mm. ask, I don't know. In fact, what would you do if you found the fiver in your workplace? Say, oh, yeah, just anywhere in your workplace. Maybe not near the till, but you just found it on the floor somewhere oh, in your no, workplace. That's, I'd ask around. That's different, yeah. Yeah, I think. I'd say. And if, if no one claimed it, put it in a tip box. Yeah. Like, like, yeah. But I would ask around, because there's what? There's a set amount of people on shift. It's going to be mm. someone. Yeah. If multiple people say yes, I'd be like, oh, no, I'd give it to my manager, actually. Yeah. I'd say, put this in the office, because a customer might have dropped it. Yeah. And I, I don't want to be it's different in a place <laughs> like that. But if it's like you walk in the street and you find a fiver, then find us keepers. If it is, it is an envelope, though, like money. Oh yeah. Do you know what I mean? No. Oh, it's mine. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> then I'm taking it to now. So if it was more than a five, if it was a twenty pound note that you found. Twenties when we get into like I territory mean, like do I, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the tipping point. Well I when I was younger, a lot younger Ooh. I must admit, me and my friend did find twenty five pound in a shop one. Oh, it's all coming out now. And we did take it and spend it on loads of sweets. Oh. But I was young and we did find out whose it was the next day. Oh, oh, so what did you do then? Give them the sweets. We were like, oh my god, we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I think we were like, oh my god, I dropped. I thought it was mine that I dropped. Sorry, I didn't even realise. Yeah. It but whew, the shop <laughs> lady didn't mind. Like it was a little corner shop. We knew yeah. her, but she was like, yeah, someone's lost twenty five pound, and we were like, oh. oh. But I was young. It's it cool. is it hard because now. you know, suppose like your your student loan hasn't come in. Work's mm. been a bit slow and you're walking the street like, I'm so scared. Oh, Give me a sign. And there's a fiver there. You're like, whoa. <laughs> That's, That's like sign. when you find a fiver in your pocket. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, the joy. Oh my God. A gosh. gift to myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is yours, but like you haven't seen it in like three weeks. Honestly, the joys of finding soul and money. <laughs> right, last question now. Um, so this is a bit of a, um, a sticky one. <laughs> so it was reported in The Sun that men are paying £60,000 to get limb lengthening surgery to make themselves look taller, um, like this picture shows. So, yeah, this is the scenario, guys. Say you've met your dream man. I'm talking personality, I'm talking facial features. He's just everything, got the dream job, got the money. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta add that in there. <laughs> but he is just too short, and I'm talking like two inches shor uh, shorter than you, at least two inches shorter than yourself. Would you send him to Las Vegas to get mm. this treatment? No. No, you wouldn't. No, do you know what? if I love you, it's one of them. Do really? You know I mean? Yeah. I'm not, but I am quite small, so yeah. I, like yeah. I'm so not. So you don't mind a shorter man? I don't mind. Yeah. If he was shorter than me, I wouldn't want to. If he was short in general, but that's still taller right, yeah. than me, that's fine. But shorter than me, he'd be like five two, five one. So yeah, so, would you, fair, so yeah. would you send him to Las Vegas <laughs> then? No, I wouldn't. To be honest, I don't think I'd entertain it in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> like not in, a rude, not in a rude way, but like it's initial attraction, isn't it? Yeah. Like, I'd, it's. I just don't think. And like, to, I think a lot of girls do get stick for it though, like saying, "Oh, well, like a tall boy." But like I know so many boys that are like, oh, I like blonde girls. Yeah. I, I love yeah. brunette girls. Like if that's your type, 
we've all got types, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? I know mm -hmm. people say, oh, I like a tall boy, but mm -hmm. I am very tall myself. I'm five foot 11 when I've got my heels on, over six foot. So like, I don't want to be looking down yeah. on, on him. I'm, I'm not saying oh. I'd make him get the surgery. No, I'm not saying that either. But <laughs> no. I'm a bit like Phoebe. Maybe I just wouldn't be talking to you. Yeah, if you're yeah. It's just initial attraction. People say, yeah, personality, but there is initial attraction. Yeah. Like, if you're not mm -hmm. attracted to someone, you nine times out of ten won't start talking to them anyway. Well, I guess I'm the only one, but it's... small boys, I will give you a chance. Yeah, small boys. <laughs> small boys <laughs> yeah, really, really you're is. just putting that out into yeah. the atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> She's single. <laughs> no, to be fair, I think... If if they're you look at them and you think look you're the one for me it shouldn't really matter yeah exactly. and I think if they're probably if they want it I wouldn't disencourage yeah. it but I just think like at the end of the day don't go spending sixty thousand oh, pounds on longer legs oh, that's he was really, really, really insecure about that, yeah, yeah. that is yeah. that yeah. the price of point to me if it's something they wanted. I'd support it, yeah. but I would never force anyone to no. do it. Never. It's, it's like so a boy forces you to get lip fillers or something. No. Like, mm. Would a boy like, do that? I don't I know. I think they'd pay you off. Do you think? Like, I literally don't. If they feel really badly, oh, she needs that doing, like, I think you just depend yeah. on how deep the relationship is. I just don't is. think it's yeah. worth having the relationship if you no, think exactly. I'm not I'm not gonna be with you unless you Yeah. Get some You've few got more to that inches. point yeah. like you're dating someone. Yeah. So mm -hmm. if you, you know they're small when you looked at them. Yeah. So exactly. do you know what I mean? Right. I've got one last question for you guys. Mm -hmm. So naked attraction is coming to Manchester. Do you do we all know what naked attraction yeah. is? That show? <laughs> so they they go on the show and they reveal parts of the body, naked yeah. body one by one and the naked person then chooses which one out of the bodies they would like to choose. Would you girls be up for um, going on naked attraction? No chance. Never. <laughs> no. <laughs> that, that was completely cut off. No, 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 no. What about if you met someone that has been on that show? Good on them for being body confident. Yeah, yeah. Like if you yeah. feel comfortable to get it all out on national television where people are probably gonna talk about how you look, yeah. mm. then good on you, you know. I'm not going to stop you doing it, but for me personally, I just don't think I've got the confidence and just to get up there. Exactly, and, and when I watched it, I have watched it. <laughs> um, <laughs> the last time I watched it, like this woman was really um, analysing this boy's body, and she was like, "Yes, I like how his hips go in," and I'm like. That is quite. Much. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, like I don't know about you. Your type, isn't mm. it? Yeah. Like naked attraction it is probably to get people straight to their yeah, type. Exactly. If that's your type, you're going to go straight for that person. Yeah. And, and yeah, but I that is only really based on the body. looks of someone, yeah, yeah. the body. And mm. is there a certain way that they go through each piece of the body or can they choose to Like they each it goes, round, it's they're like, hits, no. Then the face, then the speak. I mean, doesn't that say something about society as well? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That kind of show. What are our thoughts on the actual show itself? I do think it has oh. pushed the boundaries. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I never thought I'd see a mm. show like that be allowed. Mm. But um, I don't know, like, it's a hard one because it is entertaining I was and it's say, shocking. Yeah. It has is that it shock value. Yeah. Is it? Oh, is it? God, it's, it, it just well, it makes, odd. it gives you a certain emotion, like, you know. Yeah. Oh. I mean, when I was flicking through the channels the other night, and I didn't expect it. I just turned on four and then bam, one right in my face. <laughs> Don't want to say what. <laughs> Don't want to say what. But I was not expecting that. You just quickly click off, isn't yeah. it? I think it is a little bit, a little bit too much. It's a bit like the OnlyFans um, website. It's just a bit too much, but it says, a lot about the society that we're in. Yeah. But then yeah. again, like with, if you don't want to go on OnlyFans or you don't want to like subscribe, you don't have to, yeah. and you can s click the channel if you like yeah. away from it if you don't mm. want to watch it. So it's one of them. Yeah. Like, even it's after the watershed. Yeah, it's yeah. after yeah. watershed. That's mm -hmm. the one thing as well. Yeah. 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 Well, yes. I think that's enough gossip oh. for one day we've spoke about a lot haven't we so join us next week with a whole new panel and for some more hot tea that's all for now <laughs> <laughs> bye <laughs>